Hey guys, I'm Michael Allen from TravelCoastReNow.com. Well, about four or five years ago, I made a video about how hard it was for me to learn Spanish. And since then, I've gotten a lot of recommendations, a lot of, hey, try this, do this, hey, do you know this program? Uh, and people asking me, so, um, how's it going? Is your Spanish any better? Matter of fact, I got that email yesterday. Uh, sadly, it is not. Uh, my Spanish still sucks major, major ass. Um, and I'm going to tell you why. And, but first off, I want to say, you know, people get highly offended. I get language shamed almost on a daily basis because I don't know Spanish. And I'll say what I, I, I can't remember if I said it in the other video, but I probably should have. Um, me learning Spanish, I suppose, is like a fat person trying to lose weight, you know. I mean, you know what to do. You find it frustrating. It's, you know, a never-ending process. But that said, my problem is not learning phrases, not remembering words. That's okay. All the books tell you, oh, these are the phrases they use in Costa Rica. Well, those phrases are great, right? But if you don't understand what's being said back to you, it doesn't really matter now, does it? <laughs> so uh, that's my problem. My ear, my ear just does not pick it up. I hear blah, 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 um, even if I know the words. And then if I do know the words and they talk really slower, I just don't have the context. Um, I still don't really, I still don't really understand what they're asking me. Now, the thing is, I can say, I can get my point across. I can go to the store. I can do those simple things. I don't, I can't get in a conversation. So I can go get a screwdriver. You know, I can ask a direct, you know, I, I can, I can do certain things. I'm not saying I don't know any Spanish. And I do read it pretty good as well, because I, since I do know a lot of uh, phrases and I do know a lot of words, the reading comes a lot, lot easier for me. But uh, as, as far as uh, any conversational Spanish, it's not happening with me. I don't talk it. I get very frustrated very quickly. Um, I go out of my way not to talk it. I, I'll say hola. I don't want to say that I come across like a total prick gringo that won't learn the language. But I, I'm very... Uh, I'm very quick. I want to get out of the situation as pretty much quick as possible. And if I do have to say, oh, my God, no hablo, no entiendo nada. <laughs> so uh, it saves me a lot of frustration. And, and here's what's probably going to, I don't know, maybe make you mad. <laughs> I don't care anymore, actually, to learn it. I don't. I don't really like small talk anyway. I don't like it from anybody, you know, whether I'm in Central America or whether I'm back in the United States. So the whole how's the weather thing, uh, I'm not into anyway. So uh, I, I'm kind of fine with not talking it. I know that's supposed to be terrible. I'm supposed to be immersing myself in the culture. I totally get that, but I just, I'm, I'm one with it. I don't know it. I'm probably not going to learn it very much. I pick, maybe pick up a little bit here and there still, but uh, uh, it's just not in the cards for me. So, um, but that said, all you people that think you need to know Spanish to live in Costa Rica, I would say I might be the perfect example of that you don't. Anyway, guys, I'm Michael Allen, TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Peace, guys. Hope it helps.